हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरिएशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विद डिस्टेंस इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन इन ब्रिंगिंग द वेरियस चार्जेस टू देयर रिस्पेक्टिव पोजीशन फ्रॉम इनफाइनाइटली लार्ज म्यूचुअल सेपरेशन द फार्मूला फॉर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज u is equal to q1 q2 upon 4 pi epsilon not r when two charges are of same sign the potential energy is positive either two charges are positive or both are negative then their potential energy will come out to be positive so when we plot a graph between u and r it will come out to be like this when two charges are of opposite sign that is if one is positive other is negative or one is negative other is positive then potential energy will come out to be negative so when we plot a graph between u and r u is taken along negative y axis because potential energy is negative so the graph will come out to be like this next is area vector as we know area is a scalar quantity but if we consider a small area element small portion of the area then it can be considered to be a planar and it will have a particular orientation why convention the vector associated with every area element of a closed surface is taken to be in the direction of outward drawn normal suppose that if there is a sphere then its area is treated as a scalar quantity but if we consider a small area element over its surface means small part of the surface then this area is very small this is called area element then this area element has particular orientation along this direction this area element also have a particular orientation now this area element is treated as a vector quantity if total surface area is s then this small area is written as delta s or sometime ds and the normal to the surface area points in outward direction and its direction is given by n cap n cap is a unit vector normal to the surface so if we have a surface and there is a small area element the magnitude of this area element is delta s magnitude of area and n cap is unit vector so area vector can be written as delta s vector equal to n cap into delta s delta s is magnitude n cap is unit vector in the direction of outward drawn normal to the surface next is electric flux what is electric flux earlier we have studied about electric field lines so electric flux over an area in an electric field is a measure of 
number of electric field lines crossing this area electric flux over a closed surface as can be positive negative or zero so electric flux is a measure of electric field lines which are passing through the area it is a scalar quantity it but it can be positive negative or zero electric flux is denoted by phi e and this is equal to the close integral of dot product of electric field and area limit so this is equal to close integration of dds cos theta It is a scalar quantity and its unit is Newton meter square coulomb minus 1. And dimension formula ML3 T minus 3 A minus 1. Suppose that there is a surface. And this surface is placed inside electric field so electric field lines pass through it if electric field lines are passing normal to this area these are electric field lines and the unit vector the area vector of this surface is ds the unit vector is n cap normal to the surface this is your area vector drawn outward normal to the surface so in this case the angle between electric field and area vector ds is zero so when theta is zero the electric flux will come out to be positive when theta is zero cos zero is one so electric flux will be positive positive electric flux means electric field lines are passing through the area along the direction of area vector now if electric field lines and area vector is perpendicular to each other in this case electric field lines are parallel to the surface and area vector is normal to the surface unit vector will be anchor drawn outward normal to the surface now the angle between unit vector and electric field is 90 degree so here theta is 90 degree so cos 90 is 0 so flux will be equal to 0 now if electric field lines and area vector are in opposite direction electric field is along this direction and area vector is along this direction so in this case theta is 180 degree so electric flux is negative electric flux will be negative
zero electric flux means electric lines of force are not passing through the area they are parallel so no electric lines are passing through the area therefore electric flux is zero now if suppose that there is a sphere and electric field lines are entering through this sphere and leaving through this surface like this now here if we consider a small area element electric field lines are along this direction and area vector normal to this small area element and cap is along this direction so here the flux will come out to be positive but here if we consider a small area element electric field lines are along this direction area vector along this direction angle is 180 so electric flux will come out to be negative so total electric flux for this closed surface is zero because the number of electric field lines entering the surface is equal to the number of electric field lines coming out of the surface so net electric flux is zero this flux is positive here the flux will be negative so total flux will be equal to zero the number of electric field lines will be same in these two surfaces so the total flux will be zero means the number of electric field lines entering the surface is equal to the number of electric field lines leaving the surface so, so total electric flux is equal to zero 